If you're looking for more variance analysis problems, I'm actually going to perform a few of them over the next few tutorials. I thought I would start off with a mild difficulty question just to emphasize uh, the fundamentals of variance analysis and then I'd probably end with like a more moderate to difficult question. So this is going to be a more mild question and uh, let's start right here. And what we have is we have direct materials and direct labor and these are the standard amounts and the, the standard prices and we have the actual results of how many units we produced and we have the actual results for direct materials and direct labor for the amounts and their prices and what we want to do is we want to calculate the price and usage variances for direct labor and direct materials. So if you remember from the preceding tutorial I actually brought up a formula for price and usage variances and the first is price variance is equal to actual price minus standard price times actual quantity. And if you want to figure out how I actually came up with that you can go into the preceding tutorial because I explained it there. And the usage variance is represented by actual quantity minus standard quantity times standard price. Alright, so let's go ahead and start with direct labor. So let's do the price variance first and we're going to be looking for actual prices and standard prices. So um, we have the actuals right here. I should put a little A here and maybe a little S here. So the actual amount for direct labor is 1680. So we can put that there. And the standard amount is going to be right up here for direct labor, which is $16. That gives us a difference of $0.80 cents, uh, for every, for every, what is it, for every hour of labor. And our actual uh, quantity of labor is represented right here, 4,125 hours. And if we calculate that, we get a difference of 80 cents times 4125, which is going to be a variance of $3,300. And since our actual dollar per hour is greater than what our standard amount is, this is going to be an unfavorable variance. The next is our usage variance. And our usage variance is represented by actual quantities minus standard quantities times standard price. So let's, let's find our actual quantities first. So our actual quantity is represented right there at 4,125 hours. Subtract uh, our standard quantity of hours and they don't give it to us right here so we're going to have to actually calculate it. So since we produced 8,500 units and the standard amount is half an hour for every unit, we can just do 8500 times 0 0.5 and that will give us uh, I think 4250, yep, and we just multiply that by, where are we, um, the standard price which is represented by $16 and that's going to give us a difference of 2000. And this is going to be a favorable difference because our actuals uh, were less than what our budgeted or standard amounts were. So that is the, the variances for direct labor. Let's move on to uh, direct materials. So it's the exact same thing. Uh, price uh, variance is going to be represented by actual price minus standard price. So we look for it right there, $1.85. Subtract uh, $2. And our actual quantity is represented by 46,000 kilograms. So we'll have a 15 cent difference times 46,000. And that is going to be 
a 6,900 favorable difference because our actuals were less than our budgeted. And that is our price variance for direct materials and our usage variance is going to be represented uh, by actual quantities which are 46,000 minus 5 kilograms per unit and you just get that by multiplying the budgeted amounts by the the actual quantity which are 8500 times 5 which is going to be 8500 times 5 uh, 42,500 sub that in there and we multiply it by the standard price which is uh, $2 a kilogram and that's going to be a difference of uh, 3,500 kilograms times 2 which is $7,000 and that's going to be an unfavorable because our actuals are higher than our budgeted. So that's that's pretty much it for variance analysis uh, and this problem. We're going to do another question in the next tutorial, so I will see you there. If you have any questions regarding accounting or any other material within our videos, you can tweet us at NotePirate, you can like us on Facebook to receive updates, or to share any quick anecdotes about how our videos might have helped. And like always, thanks for watching us on YouTube.